I am now back to recording on my webcam on my laptop for the moment so until I figure out what's up with my camcorder cuz it effed my memory card but anyway citrine is my topic for uh, for my February 2018 YouTube Pagan Challenge topic. Instead of doing the C and D together, I'm doing them individually. I'm going to talk about citrine. It's a variety of quartz closely related to amethyst. Its hardness is seven. Its element is air. Its planet is Jupiter. And its zodiac is Aries, Gemini, Libra, and ancient was Leo. Some keywords are abundance, comfort, digestion, generosity, confidence, creative, creativity, energy, enjoyment of life, luck, money, moderation, personal power, prosperity, and spiritual growth. So there's two types of citrines. There's heat treated in order to obtain a bright golden yellow orange color. And then there's the natural citrine, which comes straight out of the mind. You got the pale golden color. And depending on like the color of the citrine, the, pro the properties vary. It has been called the merchant stone and the happy stone. It's beneficial and full of pos positive features and vibrations a success and prosperity stone to promote and manifest success and it also has been stated that it citrine is like neutral you don't need to cleanse or clear a citrine you don't have to do that it just it's a good stone so and it's powered by the sun it warms cleanses and energizes highly protective it makes a great tool for transmuting negative energy it heightens self-discipline attracting professional success and wealth and can be used to cleanse all chakras it does have a specific chakra but it can be used to clear all now this is my second biggest Citrine. And then I have the smaller, like, tumbled stones. I do have some, like, smoother ones that are almost as big as this. And for me, citrine is the it crystal for me. Many have that it crystal for them some just some may not work with crystals or don't have that it crystal with them like for them but for me I like to me citrine is the crystal for me and for others it might be rose quartz or moonstone or tiger's eye or whatever and those people will get it but if you don't have it, a uh, uh, crystal that speaks to you, that's fine as well. So that's just some information and my thoughts on citrine for the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Happy readings.